Hello and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek, and today I'm going to show you the Previs feature available in NewTek IP Series, TriCaster TC1, and TriCaster Advanced Edition. The Previs function in your live production system can be found right after your last ME. You can think of Previs as actually an extra ME that allows you to build effects before you need to use them and you'll never see that on output until you apply them to an actual full ME. Once you've opened the Previs tab on your live production system you can load any of the default uh, live sets and effects that comes with your system. For today's example I'm going to be using a four layer effect. I'm going to use the four layer effect to create a triple box effect with borders and once I've got this effect created, I want to use it across all the ME's I have available. And I don't want to have to recreate the effect every t on every single ME. The nice thing about the Previs feature in your live production system is that when you create an effect in Previs and then move it over to an ME, it doesn't overwrite any of the sources you've already selected for that ME. Another way to think about Previs is to think about it like a normal copy-paste clipboard you use on your computer. It allows you to copy effects into the clipboard and then paste them into the other MEs. Now that we have our effect created, I'm going to go over to ME8 and you can see that it is set up for a two-layer default set. I'm going to go over here and right above the T-bar I'm going to hit Paste from Previs and you'll see that it's loaded the four layer effect. It's set up all my positioning, yet it's retained the inputs that were already set up in ME8. That's how we get an effect from Previs and apply it to an ME, but what if we have an effect already set up in an ME and we want to apply that for Previs? We can go over here to ME7 where I've set up a three layer effect and I can go over here and right above the T-bar I can hit Previs and that'll push this effect over into Previs and then switch my tab back over to Previs for me automatically. So now that I've got it in Previs I can make any adjustments to it and then it's available for use on any other ME. The thing to remember about Previs is that it actually takes the state of the entire ME including all your positioners, your DSKs, and even the comps. So if you spend a lot of time and build some beautiful looking comps, you only have to build them once and then they can be applied to any ME using any of the sources available in that ME. Today I'm showing this to you on a NewTek IP series video mix engine and I happen to have a 2S two-stripe control panel. So one of the advantages of using one of our IP series systems is that we have dedicated buttons on the control panels to get things into and back from Previs. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and hold down Delegate Stripe and delegate one of my MEs to be my Previs Stripe. Now that I've delegated my top stripe to control Previs, all of my positioning controls over here with my joystick are available. All of my DSK controls are available as well. This gives you full control of your previs effect all via your control panel. The IP series control panels also feature dedicated buttons to send things to previs and pull things back from previs. Now once you've set up your effect in Previs and you want to copy it to another ME, first you need to delegate your stripe back to one of your MEs. And then once your stripe is delegated to an ME, all you have to do is hit From and it will instantly pull in that effect from Previs. That's how the Previs system works within your NewTek Live production system. I hope you give it a shot and try it out for yourself. And thanks for watching today's Tuesday tutorial. See you again next week.